discussed earlier on was to promote transparency, promote uh, corporate governance, promote the um, efficient working of the, um, of the industry. So clearly at the, at the moment, um, I think government is probably doing a bit more than it can chew. Um, and if you talk to any guy in the um, IOC, they will tell you that the issue of the, the um, cash calls, and somebody also mentioned that cash calls are a big challenge. Um, a lot of the IOCs are not exploring, they're not doing more because they're saying, look, you're owing us uh, uh, billions in, the, in debt. Uh, you, if you cannot pay that, then we are afraid to, to go ahead. So just breaking up the NFPC and making, getting out an organization that will become uh, commercially run. They can contract, they can borrow against um, the assets and then, of course, ensure they pay their cash for as and when do. I think will be a, um, a right step in the right direction. Okay, so I think we, we, the, um, it's not a perfect, in my view, it's not a perfect law that we have now, but I think it's a, it's a right step in the right direction. And, and of course, the, the Senate can, and, and the Assembly can, of course, review and amend uh, the law as, as they deem fit and as we progress. Now, in terms of content wise, I agree that we're not where we're supposed to be, but it seems to me that the issues that have been debated over the years. There's an attempt to resolve them. So obviously everybody agrees that there are issues, which is a step in the right direction. Now, is it really, do we have everything we need in there? Um, from a legal perspective, I'll, I'll start even with maybe commercial projects. Now, it's laudable that um, the, FR, the NMP, NPC does not have to really comply with the Fiscal Responsibility Act and the Public Procurement Act. I mean, for our project, a number of times you need, to, you need to push, you need to procure services, you need to borrow, and those bottlenecks are there and you really cannot make progress. But the other aspect of it then is, okay, so if you do away with accountability and transparency, what then happens? In terms of implementation, for the regulatory commission, for instance, the intentions of an independent commission, I hear you that the minister still gives policy directions. But well, you have a provision in there that the NRC Regulatory Commission would only comply and implement those policies if they are in accordance with the spirit and intentment of the, of the bill passed into law. You know, and if you look at the objectives of the bill, what are the objectives? Transparency, accountability, commercial orientation. I mean, so if indeed those objectives are followed, I'm, I'm not sure that if a policy is issued, a policy direction, which is not in accordance with those objectives. I'm not sure the Regulatory Commission has to comply. While we appreciate that um, not all terms of contract, all portions of contract should be made public, um, but also recognizing that, uh, for instance, one of the um, directions the EITI is going is towards trying to ensure you know, contract transparency, especially around the terms um, that define government take. So the terms that define how much taxes we're paying um, as operators to the government and royalties and so on. So what we would like to see is for us maybe to specify, even uh, to, to have those contracts, um, the terms of those contracts as it relates to those um, um, uh, elements of government take made public. So, um, so that would enhance the whole idea of transparency. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we are interested in, in um, as, as governments and as Nigerians, really. How much are we getting from this um, um, resource, which is, for now, the resource um, in, 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 the, in the country? So we would like to see some level of um, um, contract transparency clauses in the, in the Act. For us, a regulator should say, Okay, open your books. Tell me how much it costs to refine, how much it costs to take it to your depot. And then we agree on possibly a margin so that it's not going to be too exploitative. But there must be deregulation with a regulator who has the general regulatory framework so that you don't go beyond bounds. So to speak. So, so deregulation with a measure of regulation. No, no, no. A, with regulator, a regulator to regulate, right? Yeah, to, so to give a general in the in, in just the same way you have uh, NEC, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, NCC 
all those yes. things. So, so that's what we are, we, are, we are talking about. So what you're talking about really is this price regulation, deregulation? No, 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 full deregulation. What we have been doing has always been price, price, price. Yeah. Food, right from the point of refining to the point of sale at the outlet. 